Glory, hallelujah. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and I am so glad to be part of it and rejoice in it. Today is always a good day, no matter what the situation looks like. No matter what the circumstances look like, today is always a good day. As long as we can be in the presence of the Lord and pray to Him and seek Him in His kingdom and to always put our faith and trust in Him, every day is a good day. Because no matter what, we serve an awesome and amazing and a faithful God. He is always at work for us. No matter what, even though we, we might seem like things not going our way, even though we haven't seen any progress, even though that our situation still look the same, but our God, he tells us he's always worked. And what Jesus said, he said, as long as my father at work, I am also at work too. So right now, no matter what the situation looks like, my sisters and my brothers, our God is at work for us right now. He is working for us right now because he loves us that much. And I just ask y'all today, always give Jesus the thanks. Always give him the praise and always give him the glory. No matter what, always speak his holy name. Give him the praise even though that you might be hurting right now. Even though that you might be going through a situation right now. Give him the thanks and give him the praise and give him the glory. Every day. Not some days. But every day is a day for praise and worship, his holy name, every single day. As long as he's waking you up, that he's giving you strength, and he's giving you health, and he's giving you breath, that's when you need to praise him, through the good times and also through the bad times. Every day, 365 days of a year, he deserves the praise, the glory, the honor, and all the worthy. And before I get started, I just want to encourage my sisters and my brothers right now today, and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, today is the day that I'm asking you right now today to make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Right now today, just stop what you're doing. Just stop what you're doing right now. And if you don't, just say, Lord Jesus, I ask of you to be my Lord and Savior Christ. Once you do that, you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Right then and there, your relationship began with Jesus. That's the only thing that Jesus expects out of every last one of us is a personal relationship. It's a personal relationship. That's the only thing that he wants. Now, he deserved that for everything he has done for every last one of us. He deserved that. Give Jesus what he's expecting. Give Jesus what he's want. Then you will see the amazement what Jesus will do for you. Just don't take my word for it. Try it out. I did it. He's been on fire with me ever since. That's why I love him the way I do. That's why I praise him the way I do. That's why I glorify him the way I do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Today, my sisters and brothers, I have a real, real powerful word in my spirit that I would like to share today. And this message today is for every last one of God's children today. For the ones who's in the race. For the ones who's been trusting and believing in Jesus for a long time. You know exactly who you are. And we're going to be reading from the book of John 10, verse 10. That's John 10, verse 10. And today's message is, don't let the devil tell your testimony. Don't you let him tell your testimony. You have a testimony. And your testimony will be heard. Your testimony will be spread across the world. And I believe and I declare today. You know exactly who you are. Get ready to tell your testimony. Don't let the enemy tell your testimony. You're going to tell it. And I believe every last one of my sisters and my brothers, you're going to have your testimony and you will tell it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I just can't thank you enough for our strength today. I just can't thank you enough for our health today. I just can't thank you enough because we will 
tell our testimony. I just can't thank enough for the opportunities that's coming our way today. I just can't thank enough for the doors that you are opening. I just can't thank enough how you still guiding us, how you still directing us. I just can't thank enough because when we ask for more wisdom and knowledge, you still give it to us. I just can't thank enough for your grace and your mercy today, O oh Heavenly Father God. I just can't thank enough because you are working for every last one of your children today. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus, for what you have done. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus, for what you are doing. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you for your love. I just can't thank them for your protection. I just can't thank them for your giving. I just can't thank them for your faithfulness. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. That's why I love you the way I do. That's why I praise you the way I do. That's why I seek in your kingdom the way I do because I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' mighty glory, holy name, I just can't thank you enough. Amen and amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to John 10, and we're going to read verse 10. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out amen. Amen, let's begin. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. He said, I have come. That they, who is they, you, may have life and have it to the full. See, the enemy is working hard on you right now. He's going to steal your testimony. He's going to kill your testimony. <clears throat> he wanted to destroy your testimony. And the only reason why he wants to steal, kill, and destroy your testimony, he knows that you have got stronger in your faith. The word of God says in James 1, 2 through 4, he said, consider it pure joy. Because of the things and trials and tribulations that you're going through. So right then and now, the enemy knows that your faith has got stronger. He knows that your perseverance has got stronger. That's why Jesus' brother said, consider it pure joy. And see, when the devil knows that you consider it your trials and their pain and their suffering pure joy, right then and there, he wants to steal your testimony. He want to destroy your testimony. He want to kill your testimony. He don't want your testimony to be heard whatsoever. He want to tell your testimony. He want to let everybody know how you gave up. He want to let everybody know that you didn't believe in Jesus. He want to let everybody know that you was weak. But today, y'all going to reverse that. You might say, devil, get behind me. You've been in my way way too long. My testimony will be heard. My testimony will be spoken. And it's going to be spoken by me. Share your testimony, my sisters. Share your testimony, my brothers. Y'all have a powerful, powerful testimony that need to be heard. Somebody need to hear your testimony right now today. Somebody need to hear the pain and suffering that you that you went through. Somebody need to see when everybody else turned their back against you, but you kept going on. You kept trusting Jesus. You kept believing Jesus. You kept your head up high. But I believe today that your testimony will be heard. Look what Jesus says. He said, I have come that they might have full, mm, 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 that they might have life and have it to the full. So Jesus is coming. So you make sure he knows that you're going to tell your testimony. He's already there, right there beside you, ready for you to share and speak your testimony towards somebody today. And I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I know that this word and this message is clear for someone today. Don't let the devil tell your testimony. Because he got a different ver a different version than what you have. He want to tell his side how you gave up. How you didn't believe and trust in Jesus. That's his side. And guess what? Who's behind him? The haters. They're right there with him. Don't you do that. Like I said, just read James 1, 2-4. through 4. It tells you. It said, consider it pure joy. For the pain and suffering that you're going through right now, my brothers and my sisters, your faith is at strong point right now because of the pain, because of the suffering, because of the, the trials and the tribulation that you've been going through. Right now, today, your faith has got strong. So then your perseverance, your perseverance don't get stronger. That's why the enemy is attacking you the way he's attacking you right now today. 
That's why he's trying to break it. He's trying to bend. He's trying to do whatever it is because he know he has peeped in and seen what God is about to bring you into. That's why right now, that's why he's messing with you the way that he's messing with you right now. That's why he's attacking you the way that he's attacking you right now. That's why he's putting those nasty, evil thoughts in your head right now. Because he's trying to steal, kill, and destroy your testimony. He knows what's about to happen. He knows. If the devil didn't know that your faith was strong and your perseverance was strong, he wouldn't even mess with you. If he didn't know that you had a powerful testimony, he wouldn't mess with you. But he knows that your faith is strong. He knows that your perseverance is wrong and he knows that Jesus is about to bring you to something and he knows that you have a powerful testimony. That's why he's trying to kill, steal, and destroy. But you're going to share your testimony, my sisters. You're going to share your testimony, my brothers, and I believe it's going to get heard. I know it's going to get heard. I know for a fact that your testimony will be heard. I believe and I declare it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. It will be heard. It will be here and you're going to share your testimony. And if this word and if this message and this video is for you today, let's give Jesus the thanks right now today. Let's give him the praise right now today. Let's give him the glory right now today. And before I close, I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying the simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.alt. I love y'all. I always keep Jesus first place. And you will share your testimony today, my sisters and my brothers. Always praise him and always give him the worship. In Jesus' holy mighty name. Glory, hallelujah. Amen.